Hello and welcome back to Alderman Farms and welcome to Canuary January, where each day of the month of January, there is going to be a new canning video. And today I'm going to make plum jelly. There have already been some amazing canning videos. I've already learned some things and I know as the month goes on, I'm gonna learn even more. There is a link to the playlist in the description below. Be sure and check out all the new videos. In case you haven't heard, there's going to be a giveaway of a 23 quart Presto canner. All you have to do is watch each Canuary video that comes out and leave a comment on every video. That's it. I'm going to be using plum juice that I made actually a year and a half ago. What I typically do is in the summertime when different fruits are ripe, I'll make my juice and freeze it and plan to make my jelly during the winter time. I missed last winter, so I'm catching up this winter. One more thing, this is new for me. I'm using Pomona's Universal Pectin today. The first thing I need to do is make calcium water. And so this is a half a cup of water and this is a half a teaspoon of calcium. That actually comes with the pectin. And I'm gonna empty that in my jar and I'm supposed to get shake this up. And y'all, I've never done this before, so I hope it really turns out. The reason, oh, I'm spilling it. The reason I wanted to use this pectin is because it, you can use a lot less sugar or even no sugar. Okay, so I've got that done. So I'm gonna go ahead and add my juice. It's four cups of juice, uh, plum juice, to my pan. And this recipe does call for a fourth of a cup of lemon juice or lime juice, and I'm gonna add lemon juice. Okay, and now I'm gonna add four teaspoons of this calcium water. And I don't know why you put this in there. I'm putting it in, the, in there because that's what the directions say to do. If you know why, tell us in the comments. All right, now I'm gonna stir this up really good. And now I'm gonna go ahead and put this back here on the stove. And I'll show you what I have going back there too. Already I have this going. I already have my pan of water simmering to put my lids in. I'm gonna set that aside and turn that off. I'm gonna go ahead and get my pot on. And I'm just gonna put that on medium heat to start bringing my juice to a boil. And I also have my hot water bath pot water hot. I, I like to have that already going before I even start making my jelly. It's good for your uh, lids to be real warm. I like to take my lids and alternate them like this to where they're not all stuck together. So I like to put them in my water like that. This is real hot water, so they'll just have to sit in here till I'm ready for them. Now you're supposed to keep your jars hot until you're ready to put your jelly in there. I already had a little bit of warm water in there, and so I'm adding a little bit more. Oh, by the way, I love my electric kettle. It heats up water really fast. I actually have two of them uh, when I'm doing a lot of canning. That way, I, I never run out of hot water. It seems like you always are needing hot water. Let's we'll see if we can find an Amazon link and post it below. Now, this is four jars because I'm using four cups of juice. So it's gonna really make a little over four pints. I always have an extra jar and this will go in my refrigerator. I won't actually can this jar. This will just be for what's left. So now my jars are ready and I will keep that hot if, if something happens and I get slowed down or whatever, I will add more hot water to that. Now, I'm using just a half a cup of sugar and four teaspoons of the pectin. It says that this is this pectin doesn't like to mix up in a high sugar uh, content, so I'm probably gonna add more sugar, but the way this works is I can add the sugar after I mix this in. I can add more sugar in after I mix this sugar and pectin in if it's not sweet enough. And so I just, if they said the pectin usually, it dissolves easier in a lower sugar. So that's why I'm just starting off with just a little bit. Plus, I don't know how much sugar I'm gonna want. I typically use Sure Gel or 
you know, one of those little box mixes that you buy at the store. This is the first time I've used something different than that. So I feel like it's a big learning curve for me, but I did some calculations. And if I were to make jelly using the box, I would be using 1.63 cups of sugar per cup of juice I'm using going by the box. But by using the Pomona's pectin, I'm only, if I use two cups in this recipe, I will only be using a half a cup of sugar per cup of juice. So I think that's huge to cut down on the amount of sugar by that much. Hopefully we like it, we'll see. I didn't put my lid on earlier, but as soon as we turned the camera off, I did put my lid on because it does boil faster if you put your lid on. Now that this is to a full rolling bowl, I'm going to add my sugar and pectin in and stir. You stir it one to two minutes, vigorously stir it, it says. I think I'm gonna whisk it. I think that would be easier. Easier if I don't splash any on my hands, because oh, nothing burns like hot jelly. And once it returns to a full rolling bowl, then I can start putting it in my jars. But before I do that, I'm gonna taste it to see if I think it's sweet enough. And I do see little, maybe pieces of a pectin that still hasn't mixed up really good. It's good. Definitely needs more sugar for me. Okay, I added a total of two cups of sugar. So that, that says up to two cups. So that's where I'm gonna leave it. It is a little tart, but it's good. It tastes good. So I'm gonna leave it there and we'll see what happens. And it's already gelling on my spoon. So I think it's gonna gel, set up really good. I like to set my rack up so as I fill my jars, I can set them there on the rack where they'll start getting warm to go into the water. These little things are really cool. My sister got me that, and it really does help out. Well, when I can get them off. <laughs> now, okay, so now it's time to fill my jars. I'm going to try and use this. I love this one because it actually covers the sides of the jars, too but it is rather clumbersome in this small pan that I have it in. You know what, I didn't skim my foam off the top. See the foam? It's good to skim that off the top. Bowl. I forgot about that skimming the foam. It's been a little while since I've made jelly. You could have added a half a teaspoon of butter to this, and that helps to reduce the foam. They say, I've never actually done that. I just skim it off and We'll usually, we'll eat the foam. It's actually having a hard time. My plastic funnel was not going all the way on the jar, so I switched to the old trusty metal funnel. Because I'm gonna have to take some out of this jar because I have it way too full. And that's always real fun, trying to get stuff out of those little jars without getting it all over the jar. And look how well this is already starting to gel. Because it says on there that it gels fully whenever it gets cold. So, I've been having a problem with my jelly not gelling real good. You want to make sure you wipe any jelly that's on the edges off. And also, I forgot to tell y'all that I did run my finger around each of these jars to make sure there was not a nick. Uh, I have canned and it had like a little nick right there and that's not going to seal so we have to make sure the jars don't have any little nicks or anything in them okay, i'm going to pick this out and these are some plastic bands that my aunt gave me a few years ago because she doesn't can anymore and i just love them I really, really like these, these plastic bands. And just do them hand tight. You don't wanna bear down on them super hard. On the recipe, it says that you can double it. You know, a lot of times recipes tell you don't double. Well, this one says that you definitely can double it. So I like that. All right, let me turn my fire up on my pot. And I'm gonna go ahead and, oh, I'm very low on water in here, but I have this water. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that in there. 
this will ha after it comes to a, a total rolling boil, it'll boil on, on my elevation for 10 minutes and then it'll be ready to take out of the pot. I'm gonna go ahead and heat up some more water to go in here because I do not have enough, but I'll be, I'll be waiting for that to come to a boil. This will boil before this, so it will be good. I won't count my time until I get my water covering it. So we ended up with four full pints and this is what I had left in the pot. Not a lot. And then this is from my skimming. So we're gonna have a nice little snack with some of our new jelly. This will go straight into the refrigerator since I'm not canning it and it'll last for about three weeks in there. Got my water topped off now and it's just about boiling, not quite. So I'm gonna keep the lid on it and set my timer for 10 minutes when it comes to a boil. That's music to canner's ears, isn't it? Y'all hear the pop, pop, pop? That means they are sealing. I'll leave these set here on the towel for about 24 hours, and then I'll put them in my pantry. Please, please, please don't forget to watch every January video and leave a comment on each one and you'll be entered into a drawing to win a 23 quart Presto canner. All right, now this has not been in the refrigerator and it is very gelled. Like I said, I've had a problem of getting mine to gel really great. Uh, I hope it's not gonna be too gelled once it goes in the fridge. Ask me tomorrow and I can let you know. This tastes pretty good. I'll taste it in just a minute while I'm going to talk with my mouth full. And the other problem I have, I have this calcium water left. I don't know if I can keep it or I have to throw it out, but I hate to waste it. So um, this tells me that I want to do bigger batches and I'm glad that I can. And it gives, you know, talks about doing bigger batches. Some say not to, so I'm glad I can do that with this. So, and I want to say a special, special thank you to Lisa Sutton from Sutton Days for asking me to be a part of this video collaboration. It tastes really good. It is a little tart though, but it's very good. 